the city because Casino is not better. So if you guys were watching and you remember yesterday, Casino contracted some type of stomach bug and he has been in the bathroom for now two days straight. So, how do you feel, sir? and see if maybe they have something that can help fight off this bug or whatever it is that's going on with him. Hopefully that's all it takes. Just a couple of antibiotics, maybe some more electrolytes and he'll be okay. Anyway guys, we're on our way to the pharmacy and we'll see you when we get there. Okay guys, so we just made it to the pharmacy and uh, as soon as I put my shoes on, We'll be ready to go inside and finally see what it is that's been upsetting his stomach for the past uh, two days. Said, how'd you let me come outside so ashy? Look at the leg. You still look good. Oh, you're so sweet. I would kiss you if you weren't sick. Mm. This looks like a pretty cool spot. Sir, can you please tell me which way is it to the pharmacy? Hmm, maybe not. Hope oh, they're open, right? Okay, so it is 12:03. We're walking in. No, no. So no. Tiene electrolyte. Fastino uh -huh. so received some, some probiotics which he has to take once a day and he also received some antibiotics which he has to take twice per day for five days. He also got some electrolytes, some electrolyte powder. So hopefully he'll be feeling better after this and it only costs us $44. Wait, that wasn't bad. In and out, I think we walked in at 12.03. It is now 12.08. Faustino has his antibiotics, his probiotics, his electrolytes, and um, I think that was it. All for $44. So like I said, hopefully he feels better after this. That was the quickest doctor visit ever. Five minutes. that we are suckers for a beautiful view. So here you are. So this is pretty cool. Nice size dinosaurs. Wow, interesting. This is a nice view. Oh wow, there's people up here. I thought it was them. <laughs> hey guys! Faustino is a bit under the weather. Um, if you've been following our Instagram stories, you know that Faustino contracted some type of bug here in Costa Rica. I feel weak. Poor baby. I need to take my medicine. We went to the pharmacy, we got him some antibiotics and he's feeling a little bit better, but not so much. Anyway, um, we are supposed to be going to the nail salon today. However, the first one we went to was closed and the second one we went to is around this really, I think, is that ours? Not too much. Oh, see. I see. Ah, that looks amazing. So the second nail salon that we chose to go to is actually a salon that I found on uh, Google. Anyway, um, it's 
in the mountains like we had to go this was literally the scariest drive that I've ever been on the roads are so narrow and it's raining and Faustino drives fast and we're not familiar with the area so it's just very intense anyway we had to stop off and uh, pick up some beer I'm drinking beer. Faustino's not drinking anything because uh, he's taking medicine right now. Anyway, guys, my food just came out. Uh, we ordered some nachos. I don't think that he's going to eat too much of this, but uh, we'll see what he'll be able to hold down. Here's my nachos. This actually came out to, I want to say, 2,500 pesos, which is like that's, yes. $5. So that's that's not bad. The beer was thirteen hundred pesos, and that is three dollars. It looks pretty good, guys. It looks amazingly good. But I wish he was feeling a little bit better. But what better place to be sick than right? That's what I say. So let me turn this off because I don't know how much battery life we have left. I got the battery, but there's the car's the problem. Oh. Wait, before I turn it off, though, I want to show you this view. This place is called the Enchanted Valley. So I am going to dig into these nachos and I'll see you guys hopefully when I make it to the nail salon. pretty good the nachos are really good they had some type of balsamic vinegar et on them I don't know it was kind of strange but it paired well together anywho the beer was surprisingly good it was nice and refreshing you guys know that we don't usually drink beer but um, we do every once in a while we're finishing up and we're gonna pack up everything and then uh, we're gonna wait for the bill and roll out that was delicious I'll pick it back up when I get in the car we're about to leave, but I realized we haven't finished the beer. Waste not wanting that. I wasn't drinking till Sunday. See what you made me do? Ah, I made you do that. Yeah, you can't have beer waste and you didn't drink it all. Mm, interesting. I just put it down because I needed a breather, not because I wanted you to pick oh. it up. <laughs> <laughs> that was delicious. Now we're going to wrap things up and hopefully the road won't be as windy and bad as it was coming up. So wish us luck. Guys, can you tell me what's the worst road that you've driven on? Make sure you guys comment down below so we can know not to take those roads. destination is on the right. I don't see anything that even resembles somewhere where someone would go and get their nails done. So we are trying to find uh, the nail salon. Google Maps is telling us that we're three or four minutes away and we've passed this place two times. The first time we passed, we didn't see it. Where Google Maps is sending us is definitely a house. And you guys know that we're in Costa Rica, so there is no numbers on the houses or there are no street signs. So we have to basically get it how we live. <laughs> now Faustino is, um, is going inside and he's gonna try and find out exactly where this place is. And hopefully they're still open. I definitely need my nails done. If I didn't need my nails done today, I don't think that uh, we will be doing this. It's raining, it's not the best day, but I wanted to hurry up and get it out the way, you know? What nah. they say? No? Nope. Nothing? She's like, no, there's no nail shop around here. I must be at somebody's house in that little alleyway downstairs. If you... So there you have it. We have driven for about an hour and 20 minutes and have literally come up empty handed as well ah, that sucks so bad well i'm gonna try and um see if i can find something on my handy dandy iphone and i'll pick up later
Hey, what's going on? Hey, so instead of going uh, straight back to the house, we decided to stop off and get a pizza. Yes, so I think my uh, I think I could hold down a uh, pizza. So we're at Pizza Time in Uvita. Yeah, and we just ordered a meat lovers pizza and well half meat lovers half margarita I'm not really sure if meat lovers should have been the go-to choice for um, Faustino since he's just starting to eat whole foods again, but he did have some nachos today and hopefully Everything will stay down. Oh, so the place, <laughs> <laughs> this place is pretty cool. Uh, there's some TV set up and they sell artisanal beer. It's a nice little setup. It's quiet it's it's really quiet we are the only people here and um it seems pretty cool it's a nice little spot uh, saw some good reviews on the pizza so let's see if it's true well let's see okay guys well we'll pick up the camera when the pizza comes out so our pizza just came out and it looks amazing it we got does. half and half and we have margarita on one side and meat lovers on the other side I haven't had a pizza in so long right. and this pizza is so huge we'll definitely be having uh, breakfast and lunch off the same pizza yes it looks really good hopefully um, it's as good as it looks and uh, you know what time it is now it's time for us to put the cameras down and Sunny. pick up a pizza We are leaving the pizzeria. The pizza was absolutely amazing. All I was actually able to do was eat one slice because the pizzas are so huge. So this pizza is supposed to be a New York authentic pizzeria. The ambiance inside is really cool. Um, it's a really nice spot. There's New York decorations that are everywhere. Staten Island, Brooklyn. It's pretty cool, I like it. I think we were maybe the only people in there so um, I know we came last week and we attempted to go but they were closed for the entire month I'm glad we decided to give it another chance and uh, to come back because I really enjoyed the pizza how was the pizza it was good it was it was thin but it was good it was good I think they used real uh, organic or real products because the meat was real good the vegetables it was good um, a little pricey and a little thin but it was good all righty then so the name of the place that we just visited was Pizza Time. Best pizza in Costa Rica. Okay, so I think we paid $18 for our pizza pie. Now was it worth $18? Uh, no, but it was good pizza. It was some, um, it was good pizza. <laughs> yeah, I guess it was, a it was a pizza restaurant and not your typical Domino's or Pizza Hut. But then that's the thing that here in Costa Rica, all the food is, expensive. is pretty high. The first time we came to Costa Rica was maybe three years ago and the food was, it was still expensive but it wasn't as high as it is now. Now the prices have doubled. We can actually see on some kiosk where the prices used to be 2,000 uh, colones, now they're 4,000 colones. So the two is actually scratched off and the four is put into place. So they have definitely doubled. Uh, yes. So one thing guys that I can I can sort of recommend that you do if you come down here and you're staying for and you're staying for a while just get some um, get some food and cook it at home that definitely cuts down on the price um, this is all the cars that are passing us up now this is a one-way one lane highway one lane each way so now we're on our way back to the house uh, we're just gonna relax we're gonna play with dog because he's gonna want to be played with and it's not because we've been gone for a while it's just because that's dog and dog needs all kinds of attention so no worries we're the right people for that job and uh we're about to go up the mountain and do it deuces so we don't usually drink beer but when we do we drink a nice cold corona in costa rica <laughs> anyway the wine Mm, this is wine. So used to grabbing the glass and saying wine, but the beer was surprisingly good. Hey, don't forget, if you're interested in pet sitting or house sitting around the world, make sure you try our trusted house sitters link below. Hey guys, don't forget to subscribe.